Oh hey, I heard you also like bikes. Why don't I show you how I draw bicycles? Okay, let's go traditional for this one. And let's just do the simplest possible drawing, which usually is one wheel, another wheel, and then two triangles. One goes like this, the other one goes like that. Then we have the fork in the front. We have the saddle coming out of this little thing. And then we have a stem holding a handlebar there. So this is the fastest, easiest way to, to draw a bike. Of course, it's a little bit more complicated than this. So let's, let's go into that, shall we? I like to start with the rear wheel. This is our ground and this is our rear wheel. What we're gonna do next is basically taking the, the chain wheel here from this triangle and pushing it a little bit lower just because this triangle is not flat like this. So this would be our triangle here. And I'm gonna come a little bit lower at this point. So we can sort of, let me rotate this just a bit. So as you can see, this is not parallel with the ground. And this is where I put my chain wheel. And then now I just continue drawing my triangle. And this is where my triangle would be. Uh, this would be the cassette here. And this triangle now, is all, as you can see, this line is also parallel with the ground. I'm not gonna do it parallel. This is going to go a little bit upwards. And then we come up with a triangle. There we go, somewhere here. And then this is where our front fork will be coming out. So technically I can fit in the front wheel here. And I like to start with the wheels because then I feel like the proportions are a little bit, a little bit better. And now I can just add a little bit of thickness to my well, so-called triangles, which, has not, which are not necessarily triangles anymore. It's just a frame of the bike. And then we have a bit of thickness there and a bit of thickness there. Once we have this, you can also say, I, I usually like drawing mountain bikes just because while I don't ride one now, that's what I grew up with and I just miss them. So I give it a nice thicker uh, front fork with suspension in it. Now we have here, if we go back again, we have the uh, seat coming seat will settle in a bicycle coming up to there. Uh, we usually have a little construction like that. This of course, the, the more uh, reference you look at, the more you draw from reference, the more you get used to how to draw that. Then we have the stem here, which can be as uh, short or as long as you want. And from the stem, you have your uh, handlebar, which comes here. And then you also have your brakes there. So this is sort of the bike that we're using. Uh, of course, if you have multi-speed, then you would have one chain link. Well, I don't know if these are called chain links, but your chain would come something like this. And of course, this is on a mechanism here. Uh, I, I don't want to go into super complicated because we went from this to this already. So we stepped out, uh, step, stepped up the complication. But what we want to do is put this into a box and then we can play around with this a little bit more because we need this to do projections. So this is about one third and these are two thirds. Let's say this is half a distance here. And this sort of already gives us an idea what we can do here. Now I put a uh, dirty paper below this so I can use my marker. Of course, you can always use pencil, but I like marker in this case. And we want to draw this in perspective, right? So I'm just gonna choose a somewhat, well, not fancy angle, but angle that I enjoy, something like this. And keep in mind that things in perspective also have a thickness. So while this is, not so important. I just like to give a thickness to my uh, boxy front. Ne next thing that we're going to do is going to half it. Remember, we're in perspective. So the half goes a little bit further to the back. So somewhere here is where I expect the half to be. And then thirds would be like this. And I expect this to be like a third. As you can see, there's a distance between the wheel and the center here and a distance there as well. So I'm going to draw a wheel in here leaving a distance to the center. Same thing in the front. Because of perspective, of course, 
the front wheel is much bigger than the back, back wheel. To make things very complicated, I also chose a very strong perspective, but I thought if I'll show you in a strong perspective, then you should understand it in a uh, weaker perspective. Well, not weaker, not strong and weak, but a slightly more gentle perspective. So these are our two wheels. Uh, if I now come this way, this would be my center for the chain wheel. But as I said, we come a little bit lower, so we put it there instead of there. We can draw in this, I think it's called fork there. And then we would have our chain wheel there. Then we have the back triangle, so this part or this part coming up there. Uh, as you can see, this comes kind of until this this were the, 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 the one third or two thirds line where our uh, wheel also ends. And then from this point on, we have this back fork going there. Now, again, we don't follow this line. We come a little bit higher to this point where we would probably have our uh, front triangle. So now we have both triangles. And again, I am not going for 100% uh, perfect proportions and perfect bite bike, but I do want to at least have uh, a somewhat of a proportional bike. So I'm just going to draw a triangle for the saddle here, and then that we can nicely fill out with saddle looking thing. And now we have the stem, and in the stem we can put our handlebar, which comes some... I, I like using these wide downhill mountain bike handlebars. I could go a little bit shorter on that side, a bit wider on this side. So this would be our bike. Now I go back to my fine liner and just uh, try to do the same thing over it. Well, just draw over it. Back wheel, chain wheel, our triangle in the back, our triangle in the front, front wheel, This is the front fork with suspension. We have our saddle. And then we have our stem. And through our stem, we have our handlebar. Again, because of perspective, this side is closer to us, so it should be slightly bigger or slightly longer. This side can be slightly shorter. You have the hand brakes here, well not hand brakes, just brakes. And you can also have other things. But this is the standard way how I would approach drawing something like a bicycle. Once you have this uh, drawn out from the side, you can easily project it to uh, other perspectives. Okay, let's try and use a slightly Simpler perspective, something like this. And this method we can use to draw many different bikes. So I'm just gonna go back to our very simple basic bike. And then instead of leaving the triangles, we can make this into uh, the Oma Feeds. The Oma Feeds being the, the famous Dutch bike that everybody has. So the back sort of stays like this. This comes a little bit lower, that goes up there. And then here we have sort of, it comes, it will come a little bit like this. So we will have two bars here, 
this comes off here and then the the wheels usually what well, wheels the handlebar also comes up somewhere there so this would be the the oma fits let's do a quick uh, one in perspective So the difference here is that I have to bend the handlebar a bit backwards, but everything else is pretty much the same. And what you can do with the Oma fits, you can also just hide the whole chain area in a, a nice chain protector like this. And let's do one more variety to finish up the series of bikes. Let's do a nice enduro bike. So the enduro, the bottom here is usually much, much, uh, well, thinner triangle, I would say. Here we have our chain wheel and we usually have a sort of suspension system here. And this is also shorter because as you go, especially downhill, you need to be able to lower yourself a lot. And then we, you can give a nice nick here in the frame as well and there as well and then the other wheel would be here and then this would be let's say the nice shock system or suspension system whatever you want to call it usually these have much shorter stems there and then you have uh, several adjustable layers to your uh, saddle so you can go higher if you're climbing up the mountain and quite low when you're on the way down the mountain and then here you would have these uh, shock absorbers for the back part of your bike and we can have that nice little kink there so something like this now let's take this and quickly draw it out in uh, 3d as well and with that we have come to the end of this video i do hope you enjoyed my approach to drawing bikes and that you also have learned something from it Please feel free to leave your questions and comments down below and I'll make sure to read and answer them as soon as possible. If you really like my content and want to support me, take a look at my Gumroad and coffee links in the description down below. But as always, the most important thing is that you folks have a great time and see you in the next video. Bye bye.